Okay, okay. Hey guys, so as you can see, this week we are going to be making a wine bottle. Super simple, super fun, um, so this should be a short one. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and make a new scene. And then you're going to um, start with a cylinder. I'm going to make mine probably like a height of like 10, since wine bottles are pretty, pretty high, pretty tall. And then do the um, subdivisions on the height to be 10 as well, just so it's even. You can go ahead and move it to the ground by moving your Y to um, five. There we go. Okay, sweet. Now we can just go into um, front mode and then select in vertex mode these top three rings of vertices and then click R, hold control, and scale this top axis. So this is just gonna be the, um, whatever it's called, the shaft of the wine bottle, basically. Okay, next thing, I'm gonna go ahead for the lid, since they have a little lip here, um, click shift, hold right click, oh, in object mode, and then do a multi-cut, uh, hold control, and wherever you think that the lip is gonna be, probably about like that thick, I would say. And then select those faces. So go into face mode, click W or Q, doesn't matter. Um, and just select those guys. And then do extrude, which is command or control E and thicken them by like 0.1. Yeah, that should be good. Go back into perspective mode. That way you can kind of see those guys. I'm going to go ahead and select these top faces, extrude them in, offset them in by 0.1, and then extrude again and bring them up like maybe 0.1. There we go. That looks pretty good. Okay, sweet. So next thing we're going to be doing is... Um, go ahead and delete those top faces. So just delete them. And then go into object mode, extrude, control E, and thicken it by maybe like 0.1. Yeah. Okay. So, pretty basic wine bottle here. I think next what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, um, extrude that inner ring, this guy, and maybe thicken it so it's up a little bit further. That way we can actually see the top. Yeah, perfect. Good. All right, go into front mode, and then we're going to go into vertex mode, select those vertices at the bottom, and then we're going to be, um, don't select those inside ones, just select those. Go ahead and um, scale them to be a little bit wider. Actually, I think, really, I, I think I want to do that with most of these vertices. Hold on. Let's do them with most of these guys. Hopefully we get more like a round feel to our bottle. Yeah, maybe like that. And then um, let's go ahead and select the bottom faces of the um, of the bottle. Q, hold tab, select all of them, extrude them, and offset them in by like 0.15, I'd say. And then extrude again. And we'll thicken them by negative 0.1. And then it looks like we're going to be running into the um, inside ones. Go into wireframe mode. You see how there's two sets of faces? See, these are the other faces. Go into the inside of the bottle. 
select those interfaces, those guys, go into wireframe mode. Oh, I missed one. Oh no. And then click W and just bring them up. That's like the bottom of our bottle, basically. Okay, let's go back to these bottom faces. Go ahead and um, extrude and offset in by 0.2, about, and then extrude and thicken by point, negative 0.1. This just kind of gives it something, something new, something different for the bottom. Okay. Go ahead and press three. So that's what the bottom's gonna look like. And that's what the top's gonna look like. Looks like we need to bevel some edges. So go back into one, go into edge mode. We're gonna bevel these bottom edges for sure. So control B is beveling. Just make sure you do two segments. You can do it at any fraction you want. Um, just kind of whatever you, the smaller the fraction, the tighter the corner is. That looks good. I'm gonna do the top as well, especially these guys. And that should be pretty good. Do these edges. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and move this ring down a little bit. Oh no, you have to do it in vertex mode. There we go. Okay. And then, I don't really think I need to bevel that. That actually looks pretty good. Yeah. So uh, just next thing that we're going to be adding is um, the cork. So just make a cylinder, drag it up, click R, go ahead and scale it in until it relatively fits. And then you're just gonna move it up so it appears to be in the bottle. It looks a little too big. Maybe like that. And then you can move it up if it's really big cork or small, it doesn't really matter. If you want to, you can combine the meshes by selecting both of them using shift and then do mesh combine. I'm not because I'm going to end up texturing them differently, so I won't combine them, but it's totally up to you. Before you do anything, you do need to bevel these edges um, and wherever the inside edges. Here we go. Let's see if I got both of those. Yep, okay. Control B is bevel, two segments. Make them pretty tight since a corkscrew is pretty cylindrical. Looks good. Okay, so just press three on all those guys and that's about it. You can change um, the scale of things if you think it's like too tall or anything like that, um, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions about anything, leave a comment below and I'll try to clarify stuff. Um, but yeah, that's it for this time. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.